Welcome to part two of uh, D17-115. Um, I uh, noticed yesterday that we were missing some stuff, so I, I went and got a battery. It's a little small, but it should work. And uh, put on different, uh, it was missing a cable, and I put a new end on and uh, tested the wires to see where they go and got them hooked back up. And then um, I... Uh, so I got it to a crank over and uh, the throttle was sticking on here so we had to take the side cover off if you noticed that was there yesterday but the linkage down here was fine but where the battery must have leaked before it dripped down onto this uh, hinge there so I had to work that back and forth so because when I bought it uh, Matt said that he thought the uh, governor was stuck so that's what I assumed it was. But then uh, through my playing around with it, I disconnected this linkage here, which runs the governor. And I could move this by hand, but I couldn't move this. So then I was like, well, it's gotta be up in here somewhere. So we took that off. And so yeah, so I got it all wired up and uh, ready to go over here. And I can show you what I did on the other side. All right, so now that we're on the other side of the tractor, you can see what I did here. I, uh, this is a carburetor from a different project, but I cleaned it and put that on to uh, test fire it. You can see how I hooked the start wire up to the solenoid. That's pretty professional right there. And then uh, this is my little uh, run tank that I got plumbed in over here instead of using the main tank. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get on it and see what it does. Well, that was a uh, kind of an eventful first drive. I uh, I had to start it in gear, which you shouldn't do because the uh, the foot clutch doesn't um, disengage. And uh, and I wanted to drive it because I uh, Matt Scott told me the power director doesn't do anything, which it doesn't. And uh, I wanted to see if it was stuck in like a range or something, or if it would just stop. By driving it but so I got a good power director to put in so that could be handled but the uh, the clutch I'll have to uh, probably pull the motor or something to see what's going on with that so that'll be coming in a future video probably part three well thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three